foreign scientists used to consider Mars a geologically dead planet. It's smaller than Earth and loses internal heat faster. In the past, there was a lot of activity in its depths, and many traces of huge volcano eruptions are visible on its surface. The largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus, can be seen from Earth even with an amateur telescope. However, volcano eruptions on Mars stopped a long time ago. The planet's interior cooled and solidified, weakening its magnetic field. The solar wind blew away the atmosphere, and the remaining water froze. But recently, Mars has become more active. Everything changed when astronomers studied thousands of images of the Martian equatorial region. These images were taken between 2006 and 2020 by the NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The high-resolution imaging science experiment, HiRISE, camera captured the images at an altitude of 300 kilometers above the Martian surface, allowing us to distinguish individual objects with a size of up to 1 meter. The study revealed a large number of landslides and debris flows on the slopes of the Martian volcanoes. Scientists found more than 4,500 traces of rocks shaped like Christmas trees, typically resulting from strong earthquakes. The longest trace is over 2.4 kilometers long, and the total length of these traces is approximately 900 kilometers. It is evident that only extremely strong underground tremors could move these massive boulders. Until recently, no such tremors were found on Mars. This discovery helps scientists understand that Mars has awakened, how recent samples from a crater nearly came to life, and why one of the most harmful gases on Earth will be crucial for Martian colonists. Music. In addition to the fact that almost all vibrations on Mars are extremely weak, up to three points, the strongest one was recorded in August 2021 at a magnitude of 4.2. In May 2022, Mars experienced a magnitude 5 earthquake, which could cause minor damage to our infrastructure and break windows in houses on Earth. Since 2018, the InSight spacecraft has been monitoring earthquakes using the seismic experiment for interior structure, cease, and has recorded more than 1,300 tremors. Compared to Earth, this is almost negligible. Tectonic plate movements and volcanic eruptions make earthquakes more powerful on Earth. Mars isn't very active, but the five-point tremors demonstrate that tectonic processes haven't slowed down in its depths. Movements and magma bursts continue, causing earthquakes when magma rises and bends a single lithospheric plate on Mars. Does geological activity on Mars help us solve the riddle of its habitability? We know that this planet is harsh and inhospitable, with severe radiation, no liquid water, and extreme cold. Of course, nothing like elephants, tigers, or even mice lives there. We could easily observe some of them with telescopes or rovers, but we wouldn't notice microorganisms with these instruments. Since microbes can endure harsh environments on Earth, there's a chance they may do the same on Mars' interior, where conditions are warmer and radiation-free. Additionally, the discovery of subsurface lakes on Mars is an exciting finding as it suggests the possibility of liquid water, which is an important ingredient for life as we know it. Music. In 2018, radar instruments on the Mars Express spacecraft detected a large underground lake on the planet's southern pole, along with three smaller bodies of water nearby. The Lakes span an area of over 75,000 square kilometers in the Planum Austral, a large ice-covered plain. In 2022, instruments on the ExoMars orbiter showed giant reserves of frozen or liquid water in the Valles Marineris canyons, hidden inside the canyon system. Running along the equator of the planet, the water in the canyons covers an area the size of the Netherlands and is located very close to the planet's surface, within the top three feet of soil. On Earth, similar subglacial lakes in Antarctica have been found to contain microbes, fish, and other organisms. This may also be the case on Mars, where lakes may be frozen due to a high concentration of salt if the planet's interior is at least 20 times saltier than Earth's oceans. A tiny amount of heat is maintained beneath Mars' surface from the planet's interior, but it might not be sufficient to melt the ice. To comprehend this, scientists are attempting to ascertain the composition of the water in the subterranean lakes and looking for evidence of life in dried-up surface water bodies. When numerous lakes and rivers flowed on Mars, the planet was warmer and had an atmosphere, making it possible for a wide variety of organisms to live in such bodies of water. 
However, until recently, we were unable to find any signs of foreign music. In 2022, the tenacious rover discovered something startling, organic compounds close to ancient water sources. Although organic matter has been discovered by rovers on Mars before, this discovery is significant because it came from an ancient river lake merger site that was especially conducive to life. The delta, which is 45 kilometers in diameter and formed approximately 3.5 billion years ago, has been gradually accumulating sand, dirt, and salts over time. The delta is located in the Jezero crater. Fossils of extinct species are frequently discovered in such sedimentary rocks, and perseverance has allowed scientists to extract the greatest amount of Martian organic compounds from this mixture to date on Earth. The scanning habitable environments. With Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals, Sherlock, instrument, among other components, scanned molecules from the Jezero crater. It found atoms of hydrogen bonded to carbon. Carbon is an essential component of life and may signal biological activity. It's also crucial to remember that the organic molecules in the sediment of the Jezero crater are entangled with sulfates. Sulfate deposits on Earth preserve organic matter and frequently include signs of life, but the molecules in the crater might have originated from natural processes. NASA plans to return samples to Earth in the near future, allowing scientists to more precisely determine their origin. In the meantime, scientists have found additional evidence that suggests life may exist on Mars. Most recently, the Curiosity rover detected an abnormally high level of methane on the planet, 21 parts per billion units of volume. What does this tell us? Music. Higher amounts of methane are produced by the emissions of living things and are found in Earth's atmosphere. Since methane would have disintegrated into its constituent atoms long ago if it had created, scientists hope to determine whether the gas on Mars is likewise influenced by the activities of its residents. Methane isn't the only gas that could result from the combination of rock and water, however, this is one possibility. Scientists are interested in carbon dioxide because it is thought to be harmful on Earth but could soon be useful on the red planet. Moxie, a toaster-sized device, was transported to Mars on the board of Perseverance. Its components were created using a 3D printer with a nickel-based heat-resistant alloy, and it also has a thin gold coating on the outside that reflects infrared light and a lightweight aerogel for heat retention. Because of these features, this unusual device can withstand temperatures as high as 800 degrees Celsius, which is the point at which gas transformation takes place. The tool is intended to produce up to 10 grams of oxygen per hour, however, after an hour of operation during the first test, the gas output was about 5.4 grams, enough to let an astronaut breathe for about 10 minutes. The device is particularly valuable because it is virtually unlimited in terms of raw materials, as the atmosphere of the red planet is composed primarily of carbon dioxide. Additionally, MOXIE uses regolith, which covers the entire Mars, after processing this soil, it becomes fuel air to breathe or combined with hydrogen water. Recently, pure oxygen has been produced from CO2 through the process of separating oxygen atoms from CO2 molecules. Music. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, keeps a careful eye on what scientists find on Mars. The CEO of SpaceX is working hard to get ready for takeoff and says we'll see the first photos of humans on Mars in 2029. NASA has designated Starship as the first primitive spaceship, and its 14 Raptor engines have already undergone testing. The moon landing module, if all goes as planned, astronauts will land on the moon in 2025 or 2027 as part of the Artemis 3 mission. Later, by 2040, NASA plans to send a manned spacecraft to Mars, where the moon will serve as a stopover for refueling. However, after the flight, the colonists will still have to settle in extremely difficult conditions on Mars, which is where new scientific discoveries will likely come in handy. Experts predict that the first crew will land near the planet's equator, in a canyon that has liquid water in it. This will make the landing module ideal for the colonists. Water is essential for drinking, growing crops, and maintaining household needs. If researchers do find microorganisms in the subglacial lakes, it will also be a step forward to colonize the planet because local microorganisms will be perfectly adapted to the harsh conditions of Mars. By studying 
them, it will be easier to find ways to protect against the variety of climatic dangers of the Red Planet. Do you think there was ever a better reason to build a factory on the Red Planet to produce methane and liquid oxygen from water ice and atmospheric carbon dioxide? If you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments and give it a like. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive updates on the newest science news. Thank you for watching.